Hey everyone, welcome to module four of Seesaw for K through five teachers. This module is all about using Seesaw to connect with families and to collaborate. So we're gonna look at a couple of things in this module. The first thing I wanna look at is granting family access. One thing that's really great about Seesaw is that we can give parents kind of a window into their child's work that is completed in Seesaw. We can do this by adding family members, and then family members can see what's called the student's journal. We're gonna start by jumping into the student account and taking a look at what the journal actually is. So here I am in my demo student account. So on the right side, we see our tabs, journal activities, inbox, and blog, which we'll talk about in another activity in this module. Activities, as we know, are everything that I still need to complete. Journal, however, is all of the work that has been completed and approved by the teacher. Now, when you set up your Seesaw class settings, remember, you can set it to where students can see each other's journals so that a student can see all the work that's been done in the class, kind of like a Facebook feed, or you can set it to where students can only see their own work in the journal. And again, it's totally up to you what you decide. But on this journal, we have all the activities that this sample student has created and had approved by the teacher. So now let's jump into the teacher side and see how we can get parents to have access to that journal. In my teacher account, um, we're going to go ahead. Now this one, I believe, only has the one student in it right now. But we're going to go ahead and add a parent for the student. So we're going to go ahead and go down to the bottom right and we see the plus families. I'm going to click plus families and then we'll see a list of every student in our class. All I have to do is enter the parent's email address. And once I enter that email address, I see first that we have not connected with a parent yet. We see add another family member. So we can add as many family members as we need to for this student. And when we're all finished adding family members, we go ahead and click invite families. And just so that you can get a look at what the family will see, we're now gonna jump into my family access as well. So here we are now in my email for, I guess, the parent account. And you'll see this email from Seesaw um, that we can view JP's journal. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on view JP's journal. So you'll notice that link takes me directly to a Seesaw family page. Now, full disclosure, this email account already had a Seesaw family account set up. So parents may need to say, yes, I'm gonna create a family account. So we'll take a look at a couple of things here. So now again, I am a parent, not a teacher or a student on this particular screen. We see the journal for the active journal for my child. I can now click on journals. This will show me all of my kids who have Seesaw family access set up. And I can view the journals for each one of those kids. Finally, I can click inbox and any messages or notifications from the teacher will appear right here. I can do this on the web. I can also do this on the mobile app on my phone or tablet. And I can even click on comment if I want to leave some feedback for my own child. So there you have it, a super quick introduction to connecting with families on Seesaw. Please let me know if you need any help.